Hey everybody, sorry I'm late. A lot going on today. But I'm gonna show you guys how I poured and made this mold right here that you can pour resin in. I'm doing this for my YouTube, YouTube guys. So you could do um, pour resin in so that you can make pieces. Um, the mold I'm gonna create today is Wu Tang, Wu Tang, Wu Tang, Wu Tang. Um, I'm a big hip hop fan. I don't know how many other people are, but I am. So what I'm gonna be doing is pouring, this is a small tray mold. And then I have some coasters also. I'm not gonna do those on the live, but I am gonna do these too. I have these as well. So it's gonna be a small tray set with four coasters. All right, so the first thing that you gotta do when you're doing this is you gotta build a box, a mold box. Cam Queen, welcome. I pre-built a mold box using my granddaughter's Legos. I'm not gonna lie, my granddaughter's Legos. I borrowed them. They got more so. <laughs> it's um my daughter said they got more so okay. But these won't get destroyed. The only thing that'll happen is the silicone will pull right off of them, so it's not really a big deal. But some people go and get mold boxes made. Uh, you can do that if you're in a pinch and you're trying to do something really fast. You can build your own mold box. So what I did was I put these Legos together and I electrical taped them so that in the inside so that there won't be any leakage. Seepage. Seepage, leakage, seepage once I finish. I also did it on the outside to make sure that everything stays nice and tight because I plan on using this again when I pour my coasters. I also am using my Cricut mat as my base to help hold whatever, if anything does leak, it doesn't get all over my counter. And um, I'm going to be using a piece of, I know this is, this is metallic vinyl. I couldn't find a big enough sheet of anything else because all I got is pieces. But a uh, piece of vinyl so that I can stick my mold onto the vinyl so it'll stay flat and you're able to pour the silicone. Because if it's not flat, then that means the silicone is gonna seep underneath it and you're gonna get all of these little rough edges that you don't want and your mold is not gonna come out right. What's up, Erica? Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so let me go ahead and get this done. I gotta take the sticky part off of here. You guys, it has been a totally rough day. I'm tired and I really haven't even done much. Okay. So all you're gonna do is pull, pull off the backing. Ty, what up? I'm going to move this out of the way and get this situated over the top of here. hands off of it. All right, and then I'm gonna put my box over. So make sure. that this is down as flat as you can get it. Sticking, boom, that works, it's perfect. All right, all right. So then I'm going to take the item that I'm molding and I'm going to position it wherever I want to position it at in here. Making sure it's reversed from how it would normally appear, yeah, right? Yeah, because I want to be able to decorate from the top, not from the bottom. So usually the Wu-Tang symbol is... I thought the short... The short side is on, is is the, right on the left. Yeah, so the way I'm showing them right mm -hmm. now is the correct way. That's how the Wu-Tang symbol would normally appear. Mm -hmm. But the way I'm going to lay it down is going to be like this. Mm -hmm. so that I'll be able to decorate from the front. So I am going to position this in here where I want it, which is gonna be kind of right 
the middle to give me some room and I'm going to firmly press it down so that every single part of it is flat against that vinyl. Yeah, Ty, you, you ain't got to buy, you ain't got to buy the mold, mold boxes. You can do it with Legos. I didn't show you guys how I built the box with the Legos because it took me about like 35, 40 minutes. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, so the next thing we're moving on to is the silicone. I know a lot of people use Mold Star Slow 15. That's fine. I use this for this mold right here. This stuff is strong. I was, um, there was a piece that I cut off last night and I was trying to rip it apart. Megan, it's welcome. Strong. But um, this right here I got off of Amazon for $33. It's called Diamond Driven? Diamond Driven. Yep. It's a one to one ratio. So just like with most other stuff. Go ahead and get that poured. And I don't know how much this is going to take. I do know I need to cover probably up to about right here. So it's going to be a lot. Don't ask me. Christian, how, welcome. How much a lot is? I'm not sure. So we're gonna start off. This is this A. No, this is B. Excuse me, whether you're on Facebook or you're on uh, YouTube, watching this eventually. If if the camera looks tilted in any way, I got I got phones in both hands at the same time, and my arms get tired. So. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and mix four cups of this to make sure that I have enough to pour over all of this. So, this is part A. No right about. Hmm. That's right, we keep it pushing over here. All right. And then part B. Christian, I don't know why you can't see anything. Everybody else seems to see things fine. Maybe jump out, jump back in. It's a lot of damn silicone. Oh, yeah. All right, so right here I have 32 ounces. And I used some of this yesterday. This is only my second time using it, which is basically wiped it out. I think these are each, um, they're like 22 point something ounces each. And these. So, I'm going to go ahead and get to mixing. Hey, Nitra. <clears throat> and this mixes into a pretty lavender. I like the way it looks. I mean, y'all talk to me while I'm mixing. I have arthritis in my thumb, so Sorry, it's kind of slow. Megan asked what uh, brand of goo that is. It is diamond driven, Megan. And Ty wants to know how long you're going to mix that for. Uh, yesterday, I uh, probably mixed the smaller batch for about two minutes. So maybe four. I mix it until I feel like it's all thoroughly. I scrape the sides. Well, it's 531 now. You started about a minute ago. I'm going to change up and get my spatula. I don't know where it is. My red one. You see it? You see it? I see it. So I can scrape the sides better. I know you're not supposed to use silicone on silicone, but I guess what? Dechelle asked, where did you get the blank made? A lady in UK made it for me. Um, I happened to be in one of the silicone groups and 
I was asking people about who makes blanks and she said that she can make it. I sent her the specs of what I wanted. This is not as act actually is as big as I wanted it to be, but I'll take it for now. Um, she sent me step-by-step -step pictures in the email uh, about how it was coming along. It took her maybe like two weeks to get everything cut from the moment that we started talking cut and everything and her to give it out to me and it took probably like seven days to get to me from the UK. Um, she charged me for this and all four of these, she charged me 38 US dollars for the blanks. Nivea, it is a Wu-Tang mold, Wu-Tang Clan. I don't know how many of you out there are hip hop fans, but I am. Maybe she's not old enough, possibly. Ask her. I don't know how old are you. How old are you, Nevia? You probably to really know the woo. You probably got to be at least about. Heck, you probably have to be damn near my age. And he's old as hell, y'all. He's old as hell. He's like dirt. Forty-three years strong, August first. Alright. Nevia asked if you're going to share that lady's uh, info from the UK. Did you put it on the live from yesterday? No, but I can. Okay. I'll share it in the group with them. She'll, after she'll share it with you. Yeah, y'all. What am I saying? Y'all hear her. Shoshana, what's sure, up? Welcome. Trying to make sure I just got everything mixed thoroughly where I don't see any dark streaks coming in there. Clausia, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Clausia, it is, um, that is an acrylic blank, right? Yes. Yeah, it's an acrylic blank. Well, actually, it's a, I guess it's acrylic. She 3D printed it. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. That's your husband's birthday, Ty. That's what it is. That's right. Baby, baby, come on. Baby, come on. Don't look at me like that. Look, dude. That's what I'm saying, Deshelle. And she ain't nothing but a year younger than you. Shut up and mind your business. Don't be worried about how old I am. You is my business. Keep stirring. I'm going to punch you in your throat. <laughs> Okay, okay, Leo season coming real soon. Forget Leo season, Gemini season, baby. Gemini season passed already. Shut up. We're going to skip your season. How about that? All right, you guys, so I got it mixed. I think pretty good. I don't see any dark areas. Yep. And this is what it comes out to be. I guess if I drop it back in there, you get that darky looking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, so it's pretty good. Natasha, what's up? Welcome. So from what I was told, when you pour uh, silicone, you start from one corner and you let it work its way around. Don't just go willy-nilly pouring it all over the top. I watched a bunch of YouTubes and this is what they said. Also, not to worry about the bubbles because all the bubbles will settle out. When I made this one, there were bubbles all over the place and they ended up settling out. So She thinks she run me, y'all, but she don't. I run you. I run these streets. You don't I run. run blocks, you I don't run, run nothing but your way. mouth, girl. All That's the way. only thing you run is your mouth. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna start pouring from this corner right here. My name is Rory, by the way. Nobody care about your name. Rory Raw. This ain't your life. It's my life. When you do a live, they'll ask your name. Okay. A word. Until then, you know. How about who you are? how about I put these phones down? I love you. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. All right. So I'm going to start pouring from this corner. And I'm just going to let it do its thing. Megan, you be all over his uh, his IG? Because you know Met be in the gym now. He trying to get brolic for you.
Yes, we are. Right, you, so Megan, you have no idea how crazy we are. I'm going to start coming from this corner. We should probably have a reality show, to be honest. Oh, you're going to use the spells? about to be like, damn, you're about to run out. still need to mix up a little bit more. I think. Okay. That is tape. That is electrical tape that you see on the inside and the outside, uh, Nevia. Um, my wife is a G because she actually poured. She did one yesterday to make them earring molds right there and didn't nothing leak. Yeah, it's yes, yes, Claudia. It's, um, it's electrical tape. None more. I was thinking she probably needed like those Legos that we grew up with, you know, the smaller ones with the sharp edges. Cause those get like really, really snug and close together when you when you connect them. But she made it work with these um with these right here. I'm gonna mix the rest of what was in this container. Just to put a little bit Just more in that corner. Yeah. Just so I can get a nice covering. I want to make sure it's all nice and even. Yeah. Okay. So she over here trying to she's scraping scraping the container. I have another batch of this. I just don't want to open it because I'm cheap and I know I'm going to want to make something else. I don't even know if that's enough. I don't know how much I poured in there. See, now I'm going to yeah. <laughs> um, She bought it off of Amazon. Remind me tonight to order some more biscuits because I'm going to need it. Yeah. That's part B. So All right, come on. Let's get to it now. It's not gonna do anything. It has a um, I think a what did they say the pot time is. Yeah, that's that's the brand right there for anybody that's wondering, you know, which brand that she bought, Diamond Driven. They tell you that the pot time for this is like forty minutes, forty Ooh. minutes to an hour, and the cure time is four to six hours. Vita, welcome. I'm only going to do about it's a little over a half a cup. You don't want to leave that container open with the air on it, huh? That's not good for it? I don't know if it is or isn't. I'm just not going to do it. All right. Erica said, what made you choose um, the Diamond Driven rather than Mold Star? Um, and some of the, the silicone mold groups that I'm in. And there is no smell. Um, there's no smell right there's now, no Megan. Smell. No smell. Um, and it is a one-to-one -one ratio like, uh, like resin, Nevia. Uh, there, was a, there were a lot of people that were saying that they had problems with uh, bubbles and everything with the, the Mold Star. So I went on Amazon and I was looking for something that was similar to Moldstar. This came up with a few others. Um, I sat there and read a bunch of reviews on it and so I was to two. And um said, hey, let me try it out. And it worked. I know I should have gloves on, but I don't. Um, sorry. I'm not real big on it. At least you got a poxy shirt on today. 
Sometimes she get going, y'all, and she don't even take time to make sure she got the right gear on or nothing. She just do. My baby's a doer. Go ahead and get this mixed up. And as far as getting this out yesterday, I did this in a bowl. I don't even know where my little bowl is. I mixed it in a little bowl. And once it cured, I just pulled it right out. And the bowl was fine. Peel it right out. So I just want to make sure. Yes. No leaking so far. So far, so good. Scraping the sides to make sure I get everything. COVID crafters. I like that one. Everybody at home needs something to do, right? The COVID crafters are the ones who just trying to get some money real quick for this. <laughs> Nevia asked, uh, what did you use for the bottom flat surface? So she's got her, um, the Cricut mat is under there, and then she put some, uh, some vinyl on top of that. I have the vinyl facing, um, I peeled, uh, the backing off and I have the sticky side facing up so that when you stick your your blanks down on there you can get it so that it's flush against something mm -hmm. because if it's not then you're gonna get yeah. that little bit of seepage coming underneath yeah. and also so the mold the, the the Legos the Legos stick to it stick too. to it as well here yeah. alrighty I think I got this mix pretty good and let me scrape this off and I'm gonna go pour. Let go. This corner. She said, "Bro, they're not to use vinyl." Just trying to make sure this all goes even. A little bit I got left. I'm not gonna scrape out with your spatula. Oh yeah, I'm getting ready to. When I posted those earring molds yesterday, I had people asking me if I was selling them. I'm not selling molds. If I make a mold, I'm doing it for self. I'm not getting into that game. That's not my thing. My thing is creation, making stuff like using resin, not making molds. I'm not. That's not my thing. I'm thinking, I'm gonna do some research into it myself. I'm thinking maybe I might add on to her movement and start doing the molds myself. That'd be my contribution to the C. Duncan Originals. Oh. It all depends on you know what I see that I need to get in order to make it happen. The C. Duncan of the C. Duncan Originals is pouring resin. That's it. That's all I'm doing. Ill. Ill. You look cute today, by the way. I look cute every day. Okay? Conceited ass. Alright. Every day. That's why you married me. That's why I got the digits and nobody else did. <laughs> Alright, so. I got all of it poured in. So far, so good. No leakage or anything like that. Um, I know you see a lot of bubbles. Those bubbles will disappear. This thing right here was... Yeah, there was a whole bunch of bubbles on the bottom of that one, just like you're seeing right now. The only bubbles that are left on this one is there was one little bubble, bubble right there and one little bubble right there. Yeah. Other than that, all the bubbles disappeared on their own. Mm -hmm. So this is going to have to sit here for like four to six hours. I'll come periodically and check, but these bubbles are going to go away. And this this stuff, man, what I like about this stuff is this this stuff is... It's hard. It's like you gotta like to tear this. You gotta do some. You gotta do some shit. Yeah, I have some, some strength. Um, I tried tearing a piece, like I said, that I cut off last night, and I couldn't do it. And I'm pretty strong, I think. Right? Yeah. I was about to stick my finger up at you. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> so four to six hours. You know um, I love you, girl. Mm -hmm. Four to six hours. I'm gonna let this sit. Oh, I got a little bit of seepage coming through down here, but it doesn't look like a lot. 
Um, Claudia is asking if you can use heat to break the bubbles. Honestly, Claudia, she, you don't, those bubbles are all going to pop by themselves. All of the air bubbles are going to rise to the top in there, and those are all going to disappear by themselves. To turn be, turn to, over this bad boy again real quick, just so she could, maybe she didn't see when we were showing. That, 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 this right here have bubbles just like this, and as you can see, maybe what, one, two, maybe three of those, four of those hung around. All the rest of it popped. I mean, I don't know. Do you want to add anything? Do you want to see maybe if... Um... I don't know if you can use heat to pop bubbles with this. When I watched the videos that I watched and from what I was told, you don't want to use heat. I wouldn't recommend it. But, hey, if you come up with some information, you find some information that says go ahead and use heat, let me know. Ah! Don't, don't be like me, y'all, and try to move stuff around. Don't do that. What you just did? I'm putting another piece of tape back here so I can help stop this leakage. I need all my silicone. This shit is expensive. I need all my silicone to stay up in there. <laughs> oh, hell. See, you guys? This is what I get for not making sure that I, uh... Trying to be fast. Is anything coming out over there? Nothing coming out over here. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll wipe it up and I'll throw some tape over there. Don't over push it. Leave no, it. I need to push it over some. And all I'm gonna do is add a little bit of tape. When that dries, we'll be able to peel that right off the corner. That ain't no big deal. Some, oh, Erica said, I heard you can put something next to it that vibrates to help with bubbles. Oh, word? Now, if anything, that sounds like probably the best way to go rather than heat. Let me hurry up to get this tape out. So all I'm doing is adding some more electrical tape to the area where I see it's leaking at. I feel like I can't get over there fast enough. So I put some right there and then I'm gonna cut another piece and kind of make it. Maybe gonna, you, maybe you might wanna try to you might wanna try to fold it in the middle. That's what I'm gonna do. I did that over here. Yeah. So let me make sure I wipe this up. I so sorted if you pull from a high point in a slow stream, it will not have bubbles also. And then... Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Just to be safe, put it all the way around all like way that, around. right? It's just electrical tape, it's not like it's gonna do anything. And if you get some seepage, it's not a problem. Um, I got some a little bit yesterday, not a big deal, but I don't want a lot because the more that seeps, that means the, the less silicone you have in there that's going towards your mold, so I'm going to go ahead and, um, and that's another reason why I'm not selling molds. Cause I'm not investing in no damn mold boxes to do all of this. Nah, I'm good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put another piece down there. You said that side is still good. Mm-hmm. I think I closed off the leaking spots. And you guys, I don't have a craft room, so I craft wherever. <laughs> Alrighty. I 
do that one a minute after I get off. But, um, yep. Yesterday I got impatient. I thought the bubbles meant something, so I was over here, like, going. I don't know if y'all can tell, but there's not as many bubbles as there were before already. There's not many now because I just blew them. That's what I was doing yesterday because I was like, oh my God, there's all these bubbles. And I started blowing on them like, like my breath is going to get rid of the bubbles or something. I don't know, but hey, I tried. And um, yeah, when I walked away and I came back a couple of hours later, there was a little bit of bubbles. And then when I came back, when I went to go demold it, it was... Welcome, Marie. It was all good. So, boop, boop, boop. if you guys want me to... um. I'm probably not going to demold this until... It is 5.52. I'm not going to demold this until tomorrow morning, probably. So, if you guys want me to, I can come back on live in the morning real quick and demold it to see... Yeah, we'll do if that. If everything came out, you know, if everything came out okay. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, ooh. That's helping to pop the bubbles. Cause it's Wu Tang, you're doing the beat. Wu Tang, Wu Tang, Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. Like me. Yeah, they're asking yes, please. They'd love to see it. Okay, so um, I'll come on tomorrow morning, and I'll leave it just like this. I won't demold or touch anything until we'll do we it get all. On the live, we'll do it so, all for you guys, all in front so of you guys. We can see everything as it unfolds. Alrighty, but yeah, I'm about to go have me another glass of wine. Uh, yes, I get tipsy really quick off 5% alcohol because I don't really drink often. And I'm going to have my first drink since 2011 today, y'all. I bought a Heineken. Are you excited? Yeah. I'm scared. I'm going to fire up that grill. I'm going to have beer in my hand. You are a Big Daddy Willie or something? Shit, I'm Big Daddy Duncan. What you think? Um, sorry, y'all. <laughs> sorry I had to hear all that. You already know. Boy, if you don't hush. <laughs> all right, but everybody, enjoy your day. I don't celebrate the 4th. If you do, that's what's up, but I don't. So. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. Not, not anymore, Ty. She yeah. said, whoa, don't make no babies. Oh, girl, <laughs> see, uh, we got one, two, three, four kids, okay, four, mm -hmm. four, and we have one, two, three, four and yeah. a half grandchildren, mm -hmm. so ain't no babies coming from here, uh, mm -mm. no more, I'm done, we good to go, so, yeah, anything that happened is practice, that's all. That's all. And we, and we love to practice. Wait, okay. I got to go, y'all, because he's, he's beside me. We practice so okay, much. Rory, we are Rory, experts. Can you turn the lights off now? All right, y'all. We're going to have some hot, lovely relations. Oh, my God. Hot, lovely relations. Get off the lights. <laughs> all right, y'all. Peace.